So let's have a look at installing Office web applications on um, on Windows Server 2012. It's not that difficult. Uh, for some reason, a few people have problems trying to put it together. Um, so I thought we'd quickly run through what the process is. So the first thing we need to do is just get the prereqs met. So all the components for IIS and things like that. Um, we can do it from the command line. Just copy and paste it from the various blog articles out there. So let's fire up PowerShell. Uh, we need to run it as administrator. It's already on the toolbar here, so I'm going to right click, select PowerShell, and then run as administrator. There we go. I already have um, the command lines in a text file here. It's that one. Be careful if you've got word wrap set, set on the formats because sometimes it doesn't paste across copy, copy and paste properly. So copy that, paste it into your PowerShell, and what we'll do is we'll just let that run should just take a few minutes. Okay, that's done. You can see that it's saying that we have to restart the server. So um, what we're going to do is just do a quick reboot. So drop out of this. Okay, and let's let wait for that to reboot. There we go, so it's booted up, so let's log back in. Just logging into my uh, demo domain here. Okay, so we should have IIS and everything like that installed now. So what we're going to do is jump into IIS Manager and uh, get a certificate for our web server. Here we are. So, oh, I didn't mean to click on that, ignore that. So what we're going to do is jump into Server Certificates and then on the right hand side select Create domain certificate. So we need to give it a the common name of the certificate which will be the server name uh, and then of course enter all the other information. I've got an online authority already. There we go. Now you need to remember um, the name of the certificate, so I'm just going to call it Web Apps. There we go, it goes off, gets the certificate and installs it on our server. So we've done the certificate. The next bit we need to do then is actually install the Office um, Web Application Server. I'll just get rid of those.
Okay, so I've I've copied the image to my server. It's here. So let's open it up. We'll have a look. There it is. So we'll just run setup. Accept the license agreement after reading all of it, of course. So select where it's going to go. Select install now and just let it run. Shouldn't take too long. Right, there we go. So click close, get rid of that. Now, the next thing we need to do is just pop on the um, the language support. So again, I've copied that to my desktop, so it's here. So we'll run that. Accept the license agreement, continue, let it run. Great, and that's finished as well, so click on close. The next thing we need to do is actually create the server farm. So again, we can do it from the command line. The command is there, so you just need to make sure that we use the right name for the certificate. There we go. So I've just called it Web Apps. So we need to fire up PowerShell again. Run as administrator. There you go. Now make sure you get the URLs right. So obviously it's an, a HTTPS site. That's the name of my server for the internal and that's the name of what I'm going to be used for the external in the rest of my um, demo domain. So select that and we'll paste it into PowerShell. There we go, and just let that run for a second. You can just accept the defaults at this point. Okay, you can see that's finished. So what we're going to do now is just actually double check to make sure the server's created correctly. It's easy to do. You can see there that we've got the URL of the server and the hosting discovering directory. So copy that out, we'll pop it into IE and just make sure we get the XML response which we have. So, so that server's now working and we're ready to go configure it for link or for SharePoint or for whatever you want to use it for. Anyway, I hope you found that useful.